welcome back to another video i am going to take you around for a productive morning with me i basically have got some social plans today it's a monday and i've got social plans like sorry what is going on um so i'm like literally like all afternoon and evening so i need to make sure i get everything done this morning it is currently eight o'clock half past eight and I have been to the gym and I'm literally buzzing. I'm just about to post my Instagram post. I just looked at the clock and it's like 28 minutes past. And I always post on Instagram at half eight. Um, literally like that is like my time in the morning. So I'm gonna get that posted. Um, it is things I wish I knew. So if you haven't seen that, go and see it. It's a real, basically like before I start my fitness journey, like there's so much I just didn't know. And like, I just, yeah, I, you just go watch that. Um, there's a lot on there. So um, yeah, so I just need to get everything done. My food shop has literally just arrived. So I'm gonna show you what I've ordered and like how I kind of like prepare my meals. And um, I've just got like normal work to do. I've got lo lots of washing to put away, like all these jobs. Cause on a Sunday I always get all my productive jobs done. And then like Monday morning I need to like put it away and like find homes. But yeah, I'm really like excited for this new week. Um, I fake tan last night, so a fresh tan, not that you can even tell, I look like utter dog poop. I've just been to the gym. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready and just start the day. But look, the sun has literally just come through. I haven't got anything in these frames, so don't judge. But look how the sunlight comes in on the, like through the room. It's just so nice. I don't know about you guys, but I just love like a like a sunlight coming through in the room. I don't know. I'm just such a home person, and when I can just see the sun, it's just so beautiful. So anyway, I've got my mega big coffee and I'm going to crack on and it's going to start with posting this Instagram post. Okay, so here's all my like bits and bobs. I feel like this week I just needed like all the staples. So I get all of my meat, first of all, sent to me by Muscle Food. So I pick what I want, I order it online and it literally comes to my door. So when that delivery comes, um, I will pick up the camera and show you that and what I get. I spend 50 pounds on meat and I literally fill up the freezer, like not even joking. Like I don't, I've still got meat in there from last um, last month's order and I ordered on the first week of February and it's currently the, it is the 7th of March today and I have still got meat. I've still got a whole bag of sausages and a two barbecue chicken breasts in the fridge. Um, so yeah, it literally lasts you so long and I have it every single day. So if you wanna like save money on your meat and stuff then definitely go to Muscle Food. I'll put my link below um, if you do wanna shop there. So I kind of have to get like everything to go around it. So I often have, you know, like, um, like I often plan things like chicken and potato and broccoli and in some kind of sauce or like a ragu or something like that. Um, or I do a lot of stir fries or just really quick meals. Like that's one thing that I always say to my coaching girls. I'm like, girls, you just don't want to be spending hours in the kitchen after a long day at work and everyone agrees. Um, so yeah, anyway, so I've got some pasta. I always have pasta at lunchtime or like a rice or something carby anyway. Um, and it's really nice just to put it with this lightest um, mayonnaise, lighter than light, sorry, mayonnaise, which is really good. And then I get these little wraps here. So if I wanna have like a burrito or like um, unchicheladas, I think they're called, I can never say them. So that's really nice. And then we've got this chicken here because my order hasn't come through. Um, so I've just got this like sandwiches and maybe chicken. This is chicken tikka um, chicken, which is really good. Like it's just a really good staple. So that's kind of like lunch. And then, oh, I just got this pizza because I thought if there's an evening where I just, or like a, a day where I'm just running really behind with life, because <laughs> I normally am some days, um, then I can just whack that in, like no stresses if I need to. I try not to, but it's just like a little backup. Um, and then we've got some potatoes. These are literally like 39p for four potatoes. Great for a little jacket. Again, like I might have a jacket at lunch or something like that. Um, spring onions, because I'm making my taco bowl with the peppers. Literally three peppers there. Broccoli. I always look up on broccoli. Like even if my meal, like, 
isn't stereotypically meant to be a broccoli, I will still add the broccoli in. I just think it's like, it's so important to get those like veggies in and every time I go out for dinner I always ask for extra veggies so no matter what my meal is no if it, even if it's like a wrap I'll always put a side of broccoli on um just to make me like feel better like it just makes me feel good when I have it and also guys if you do track your food you don't have to track broccoli so just load it on um and then put like sea salt on the top and it's so good um bin liners I've now got two bins so I have to get bin liners I've got like a waste one and then like a plasticky and all the kind of rubbish like a pack in. I'm really trying to get into um, being better at recycling. Like this world is going to be like literally ruined. So if we don't do something about it, so I'm just trying to like do my bit, be better at it. Um, so I've got two bins now. I've got my whisper bars because everyone loves a little chocolate treat. Some Skylar yogurt. It's great for an evening. Snack. I'm really sorry the camera died but yeah Skylar Lot yogurt is so good for an evening snack or to put like with your porridge in the morning if you like like to make it creamy I always do that um or I'll just have a yogurt bowl with some toast for breakfast so yeah I can never go wrong I have to get the big one like, literally reference it is the size of my head um I have to get the big one and actually the other day I bought these like Oreo yogurts and you know like when you get like half and half like the middle ones you get half Oreo half yogurt and the yogurt was so sweet. I literally don't, I don't even like it anymore because the Skylar one is high in protein. So it's a little bit thicker. Um, the consistency is much thicker than a, um, like the normal like yogurt that you can get. So um, I actually way prefer Greek yogurt now. I, I, I was having this yogurt like, oh, just don't feel like, I like to feel like I'm eating something. And because this is thicker, it feels like you are. Yogurt just feels sometimes a bit like milk, if you ask me. Like, so I have to get the Skylar one, anyway. Almond milk for all my coffees in the morning. I just love it. It's I just much prefer it. I used to hate coffee and then I started having it with soy milk and I liked that. But now I've just steered into almond. And then we've got some porridge oats, big nice bag there of those. We have got some mozzarella. Um, I like to put that in between the chicken. I've actually got barbecue chicken in there. So what I'm going to do is already in the marinade from muscle food. So I'm just going to slice it in half and put some mozzarella in. I reckon that's going to make like a really nice evening meal. And then in here, I'm not sure what this is actually. I can't remember. Seems to be quite often wrap things up. I feel like, should we guess? I feel like it's a vegetable. Three oh two one oh ah oh, it's my daffodils i forgot i bought some daffodils so i feel more in the spring mood because the sun was shining it's now gone in but recently the weather's been so horrible hasn't it so oh my god i forgot i ordered daffodils i bought this the other day and i really love it little jug oh they're gonna look so nice when they sprout and then the most exciting thing of all guys is some bleach the toilet could run out i literally only got this because it was pink and it was like 49p i was like okay that is going in the basket and then the essentials toilet rolls <laughs> and then that is my um food shop so i have like all my spreads sent to me by women's best i keep saying sent to me i buy them from women's best um i get them from there um like all my chocolate spreads and everything because they haven't got any palm oil in so i really try and do that just to feel a bit healthier um and all my proteins as well obviously that comes from there so yeah from like the actual supermarket it's quite handy because i don't have to get like a humongous shop and um obviously it's cheaper isn't it at just getting like the bits and bobs this meat can bump up the price massively so yeah that is my weekly shop and i'm just gonna put it away now
good. Just get all that washing put away. And I've done this washer, stacked it, and it just makes me feel so good. Like it's Monday morning, it's nine o'clock, and now I can just smash my day out. Um, I really wanted to show you some pieces that Women's Best have sent me these um, launch on the 14th, so next Monday. Um, so this is going out on the Wednesday. This actually launches the following Monday. I'm really out of breath from all kinds of sense. So this is the new Women's Best launch. I'm so excited, honestly. I'm actually wearing this bra now, so you can kind of see with the hole in ladies. That one. I mean, that angle probably wasn't great. Um, and then the same trousers. So this, these sets I'm about to show you are all exactly the same as um, what I'm wearing right now. Um, excuse my bloated belly, I've just had it breakfast. This is a stone grey solid top. How gorgeous is that? That colour is just so nice. Like, I like grey, but when it's grey is too light, I find it just doesn't look nice. I don't know, I feel like it's just a bit pasty and not really like a staple, but this is just like such a deep, nice kind of grey. Um, I'm really, really loving that. Like, so solid and like almost a bit like a black, but like a bit lighter, so it's not so harsh as black. And then the leggings go with it, so exactly what I'm wearing. Um, same colour, nice thick waistband, which I'm literally loving right now. And then the little logo at the bottom there as well, of course. Women's best, always, always, always. Um, I got a question the other week saying, um, how do you wear gym wear without seeing your knicker line? And the answer to your question is, I don't wear knickers. Um, if it's like time of the month or something, then maybe I will, but to be honest with you, I haven't had a heavy period in so long, so that's another story. Um, I have got my periods back, but I haven't actually had one for February, but yeah, I will. I've been under quite a lot of stress, so I think that's probably related to that. Um, so hopefully next month I will get my next period. Um, but yeah, I don't wear any pants when I go to the gym. It's just uh, really bugs me. I basically did like a promo um, video like, ages ago. Like, sorry, we're going completely off topic here. But uh, yeah, and I looked at the, the video back and I was actually mortified. I had to rebook the um, photo shoot, the video recordings because you could literally just see my pants and it looked awful. I was like, oh God. So then from that day, I've just gone commando every time and it's literally fine. Like, as long as you've got a pair of leggings that you're not gonna see your bum crack on, you're literally gonna be fine. Like, don't worry about it. Um, but that is why when women's best, it's so thick, stretchy. Um, so you're not feeling like restrictive, but when you squat, you know that you're like, whoever's behind you isn't getting a full rip view of your bum, you know, like it's, you're safe, you know? Um, and then this green colour, how good is this? Oh, so this is called uh, Green Solid. So it's really, really nice. Really, really nice green. Like, oh, it's just like a deep colour. Again, it's just like one of these staple dark colours that we all just need. Like, I don't know about you, but I don't like wearing bright gym wear. Like, when I go to the gym, I don't, I kind of just want to like, I don't want to stand out. I just want to be like one of the ones just cruising in the background. Like I don't want everyone to be like, wow, look at her neon set, you know? I just, I'm quite a neutral kind of staple kind of, you know, the dark greys, the blacks, those whites, that kind of color. Um, and then we have got the top as well. So to match that again, exactly the same. There we go. So just reference, I am five foot four. Um, I'm currently weighing 55 kilogram, hopefully 54 by next week. <laughs> um, I'm on a cut at the moment, guys, and I'm, oh, I need to get to 54. And that's like my goal, and then I'm going to just do the reverse diet. I, I did want to get to 52, but I'm just going to go to 54 because... Oh, for lots of personal reasons, I just need the food to comfort me at the moment. Yeah, that is my height and my weight, and I wear an extra small in literally everything. I would say Women's Best is really true to size. If you want to size up, you can, but I'm, it's not a necessity at all. If you'd like it to fit you and be tight, like this literally fits like a glove, um, then... I would just say stick to your actual size. What I sometimes do is because there's lots of fabric, I sometimes pull it all the way up, just like right at the top. So the angle's not best here. And I can see all this extra fabric here. Just pull it all the way up, pull it down. And I sometimes fold it over as well if I want to. I'm feeling like pretty lean that day. If I want to get that tummy out, then maybe I'll just roll it down a bit like that. And it's makes the booty pop. Woo! <laughs> 
so um yeah that is my sizing for women's best i'm going to leave my uh, support link down in the description box and my discount code gives you 20 percent off and it's lucy rose 20 so if you do use that please let me know so i can give you a personal thank you it means a lot um anyway i'm gonna get showered and do something with this face because i just look like i've been pulled through a bush backwards about 110 times so i'm gonna go and get in the shower spruce myself up and then it is about what's the time 20 past nine so then i can get back to all my lovely clients and get ready for the day so i will see you after my shower ready to smash the day joking i got ready about two hours ago i've been on the phone i've had a few meetings i have sat down and done some work and i'm just so buzzing today the sun is shining i'm feeling really really happy i'm just about to go and see my friends and my clients have just checked in and um, not not everyone but a few people have checked in and they're just amazing and i just got tagged on something on instagram from a client and i'm just my heart I feel really warm today. My heart is warm today. I'm really happy. I'm proud of my clients because they're persevering and they're just, oh, I just love my job so much. Like, I know people like to say that and some people go, oh, that's so cringe. No, but really, like, I actually really do. And yeah, anyway, just stop talking, Lucy. Um, I am just going to get myself ready now and I'm going to go out for food but i've had a really really productive morning i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me wow that is so embarrassing that wardrobe the camera died i'm sorry it died um so yeah i'm just gonna get ready now and i'm gonna go out but that's been a really productive morning it's literally quarter to 12 i even 15 minutes um and yeah i feel like really productive like really good that was really really like a nice morning um and then i'm gonna go out this afternoon and i'll probably end up doing some work tonight i'm not gonna lie i always sit on the sofa i'm like right what like series should i watch i put it on and then i just work don't even watch it so when someone says have you seen like i'm watching inventing anna at the moment don't know if anyone's seen inventing anna it is actually really good and i watched like the first five like solidly i was like right no phone nothing i'm actually gonna watch something for once and i did and then the last couple of ones can't tell you what's happened i have to really watch it i've literally i literally was just like working on my laptop last night i wasn't watching it at all um so yeah anyone else do that <sighs> what a nightmare anyway guys thank you so much for getting this far in the video um don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next